all right guys welcome back to the channel on this quick video we're gonna do something really cool uh we're gonna actually uh save the bicycles into the car slots now I, you pretty much have to do the same stuff of the workaround right now you know parking the car and and running to the to the blue circle and spamming y once because that one takes a few tries to do and don't make this video too long and i just want to focus this little quick video on getting the bicycle saved in a car slot with insurance while this works and this also works to put extra storage spaces actually 18 more storage spaces for cars you can actually store cars in your bike rack and then you could access them only on heist emissions but um right now uh basically what i want to do is you know i want to show you guys from the point of already once you finally do that glitch over and over and you finally get glitched out because like i said after the after patch it takes a few retries and you finally uh joining your friend you pretty much will be at this point so i'm just going to show you guys what to do in order to save a bike onto a bike rack okay so i'm already on the black screen i already glitched myself out in the blue circle under the bunker and i'm already i already joined my friend who's in a different targeted mode so i'm just gonna like before i'm just pressing eight on the first prompt b on the second i'm back in the void you guys are probably familiar with this already now but like i said this video specifically for the bmx bikes for the bicycles i'm actually gonna do a rare scorcher with no mud guards so here we go so i'm simply just going to accept lester's text i'm getting teleported back into my heist room Alright guys, so I'm spawning in my heist room after doing this glitch, you know, the one where we have to run into the blue circle and spam Y and all that. It takes a few tries now and so you guys just got to be patient and just make sure you hit it. But once you hit it, I'm here. So I decided to start this here at this point, like I said, just for time purposes, because my videos are being kind of long lately. So I want to make sure that these videos are quick and to the point. So, and this one is going to be a while because we have to be on that bicycle riding down the street. So, but nevertheless, I'm just going into my garage. It's actually taking unusually long to spawn me in my garage, but <clears throat> okay, I'm finally down here. As you guys can see, I've been already building my bicycle collection in here via this glitch. Um, not familiar who the founder is, but uh, I guess if somebody can tell me who the founder is in the comments, you know, if they have some kind of proof that they posted this this video before, then you know with this method then i guess they're the founder but until then i'm gonna say i'm the founder right now of this one so here we go uh what i'm gonna do right now is i'm just gonna go to my bike rack okay and i am going to grab any of this bmx bikes now i'm actually not keeping any of this bmx bikes i'm actually putting in a car slot another bicycle that i have in another garage i'm just getting this bmx bikes because they're faster Right now, I'm going to back like usual, and I'm going to press and hold the interaction menu as soon as I go in the black screen. And like I said, get in the bike here. Any bike right now, it doesn't matter which one, is required step. To get another bike, in, another bicycle into a car slot is required. So, okay, so now I'm here. I'm simply going to go back, and I'm going to call my, my MOC again. Okay, usually it will spawn me at the docks, but it didn't spawn me at the docks this time. It doesn't really matter because it's actually better for me. It makes the video faster. Uh, I just simply gonna request the MOC once again, but I'm not gonna drive back to the MOC, and I'm not gonna. This thing will not go in the MOC. And um, so what we need to do is first and foremost, we need to go. We need to basically be on disable. I mean, we need to be on passive mode because it's very easy to die with this bicycle. We're just simply. We're just simply just going to, uh, I'm going to take the highway actually. We're just going to go back to our, basically a garage, heist apartment garage, where you have the bicycle that you want to turn into a car, slot. 
basically so that you can have your mechanic bring it to you so it can have insurance all that good stuff so now that we're pretty much at this point all i'm all i'm gonna do is just i'm just gonna go to my heist uh, apartment where i have the bicycle that i want to turn into a car it's actually a rare one it's a red scorcher with uh you know without any mud guard so that one's pretty cool Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a drive, but you know what I'm saying? It shouldn't take too long. I actually have it on uh, on Weasel. I believe it's called the Weasel Towers, which is literally like right down the street. So. All right, you guys see my apartment right there. We're literally like just a uh, block or two away. So it was actually kind of good that the MOCs, uh, when I requested the MOC that it spawned me by the stadium where it did because it literally made my bicycle ride all the way up to my apartment much, much faster. So yeah, so basically what's gonna happen is what we just did is, is we kind of told the game to basically uh this bicycle right here by doing all that it, it can now replace a bike on the bike rack and then that bicycle on the bike rack will then go inside of your moc at which point you can then get another car in a garage and then replace what's in your moc with it and thus that's how you get to put this back in your garage but i'm going to show you guys how easy this is i have the bicycle in uh in this garage right here weasel plaza apartment 100 i'm gonna hit replace And as you guys can see, I can now replace a bike on here. The bike I'm going to replace is gonna be uh, this right here, the Red Scorcher with no mud guards. It's pretty rare, so I'm putting that one in a car slot. That bike is now in my MOC. You know, if you guys notice, there's no bike in here, it's invisible. You actually have an invisible car slot there now. You can still access whatever car you put in there and and you can do that via heist or whatnot but that's why i put free elegies on there because what i plan on do is i plan on just simply if i need to put more bicycles there since i can't do that now because there's a car there now <laughs> you know all i have to do is just simply buy another apartment and then just buy this one back you know it takes a little bit of money but it's no big deal again we're getting super rare you know things on here that nobody else really has which is you know a bicycle in a car slot that you can call your mechanic you know, honestly, I rarely use these whenever I get them, but they're still really cool to have and, and own. So, all right, uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I'm going to grab a car from another garage because that's what I'm going to drive into my MOC. But I actually want to grab a car that's in the garage I want the bicycle in. And that's the first garage we were in. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now as we speak actually. And the fastest way would be actually with the oppressor since I can just call it via my, my bike club menu. Or matter of fact, just to make things rinse and repeat faster actually, I'm not going to do the, the motorcycle oppressor just to like replace what I have because that is on, my, on that first garage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call an elegy, a regular elegy, wherever I have it at, doesn't really matter. Here's one. Yeah, so basically at this point, we have an invisible bicycle inside of the MOC, which is the red scorcher, scorcher that I replaced, you know, with the BMX bike we glitched out. And that BMX just served as a way just to tell the game, look, it's a bike coming out of here, but then when you request the MOC, it's just, it kind of, it became a car. Even though you went and you replaced it to a bike rack, it goes back, it allows it to go back into the MOC as a car, as a bicycle in a car slot, basically. So... Now what I'm simply doing is, is I'm just driving back to my uh, apartment where I have all my bicycles at. 
because that's where I want the bicycle to go to. And that's going to be the red sc scorcher. So it's, this is very easy. All I'm doing here is just kind of like bringing this here. Just to make sure I have all the bicycles here in order. And here you can pretty much just pick any car that you want to like, you know, uh, for example, I'm going to just move this T20 because I want the bike next to all these, you know, I'm going to fill this whole garage with just bicycles just to collect them all here. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Why not? While this glitch is working, if I need to replace them later, I will. I will. They have insurance. You can call them with your mechanic. So all I did right there, just kind of move this car there, this blank elegy, which is really from my next one. So I do it rinse and then repeat, but I could have already pretty much just grabbed any car and took it to my MOC and then just replaced the bike in there. And it would not replace the car I took in there too. You know, what got replaced was a freaking, it was a freaking blank elegy that I had in there that is now on a bike rack at the, the weasel tower I was just at a little while ago. So right here, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna return my MOC because it's too far for me to drive to it. I'm gonna wait until I can request it again. I'm gonna try to do it from right here because it tends to put it right at the pier, which is where I want it at. Okay, so I just requested it again. All right, and sure enough, it's at the pier where we always wanted to be at. And uh, I'm just gonna take this blank, I'm just gonna take this regular free allergy this again, this is just the donor car for the rinse and repeating for the next bicycle I'm gonna do. So I'm just, I'm, the glitch is pretty much done. I'm just right now just bringing the bicycle now into just the garage because this is the final part of the glitch here basically. So I'm gonna confirm it's gonna glitch out a little bit weird. It's gonna show you the bunker afterwards. Even if it hangs a little like this, I was doing, that's actually expected. Again, we're doing something different right now with these bicycles. So. All right, so I got this here ready. I can pretty much uh, get ready for the next uh, rinse and repeat process, the next bike I'm gonna dupe. But, um. As soon as I spawn outside, I'm just simply going to teleport back to my heist apartment just to show you guys the bicycle now in the garage as a car slot. If it takes a little bit long on this black screen, you know, that's perfectly fine. You know, okay, so we're here. I'm just going to go ahead and teleport back to my heist apartment just to save me a little drive over there and make things quicker. The glitch is pretty much done at this point, guys. I'm just pretty much just showing you guys that uh, I was able to bring that bike from a bike rack onto a car slot. Again, this this requires the you know the current workaround method, which you have to run into the blue circle while spamming Y. It takes a few tries. I'm definitely uh, I'm gonna try to link the other video where I explain that whole new workaround from today in more detail. You know, but yeah, I just wanted to like start the video at the point of already being glitched so that I can explain the complete different process that it is to bring a bicycle from a car. Let me sure I press B right here <laughs> from a from a bike rack onto a car slot, which would then have insurance and then also be, uh, you know, I didn't mean to do that. This thing's kind of laggy right now, this lobby for some reason. Um, yeah, and, and then also too, again, guys, this is also a way for you to bring your, for you to bring your cars into bike racks. In case you you already have all your garages filled filled with LG retros, then you can then fill even eighteen more spaces. You know, that's the number of of total like garages you can have that have bike racks that you can fill up. So you can actually have eighteen more LGs. You know, I will actually not even do that because I'm not sure you can sell. You can go to the LSC during the heist or setup. But let's say you're running out of space for your personal cars that you don't barely use. And that means you can store them on a bike rack. 
you know, and then you can still access them during heist and whatnot. Again, it's 18 extra spaces of garage space that you can use out of those bike racks for cars. So that's the other benefit of this glitch right here. I'm already walking back into my Del Perro uh, garage apartment. I mean, uh, my Del Perro apartment garage, and I just want to show you guys the red skircher that we glitched here now in a bicycle slot. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, now I have the rear red skircher with the mud guards. It's now in a car slot. It now has insurance. Um, and yeah, guys, definitely take advantage of this glitch before it's patched again. They're literally half fixing these glitches on a daily. I'm gonna try to make sure that at least I'll bring you these while they're working. If you guys notice, all my stuff is streamed, so you know that it's working. But yeah, guys, this is gonna pretty much do it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start working on the next GTA 5 Online glitch video for y'all. And until the next one, I'm out, guys. Peace.